Hello everyone, this is Dark Newt, and welcome to the first episode of I Suck at Smite. Now, the basic idea about the series is I am new to this game, and so far I'm really enjoying it, but I'm not that great. So, for those Smite players out there, I want you to leave comments below, uh, giving me as much advice as possible from what you've learned from, you know, watching me play, and I, I want to take that advice that you guys give me and apply it so every episode, hopefully... You know, I get better as things go on. Now, I'm not a complete noob. Like, I kind of know, but I don't know. <laughs> like, I just, I just kind of know, you know. Like, a... Give me a second. Oh, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, get her. And him. Are we going to get the trip? We're going to get the whole team, Adia side, right in the beginning. And yes, no, oh no, it was, it was a good. Oh man, I just too risky. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So the whole idea about this series is you guys who play Smite are gonna leave me suggestions below, and eventually by episode ten or twenty or whatever, whatever it takes, I want to become a Smite pro. You know, <laughs> trained by my community per se. Uh, because I'm really liking this game, and I want to get into doing like more threes and stuff. Now I know people do the five v fives; that's where it really where it's at. But I really enjoy doing threes. Uh, I I have a little bit of league under my belt, but not enough to say I'm an expert or anything. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of things wrong, and that's where you guys kind of step in. But I'll do my best to kind of commentate and tell you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing, so you guys can better help me. So I know as Loki. That I need to be kind of not up in the front lines, like I'm not a tank. So, oh shit. I do, I do need to go and probably get a jungle kill and then come back. Oh, and gank while they're low, which right now is when that is. And I kind of wasted that stealth, and they're on tower. Okay. So I'm going to go around, and then hopefully maybe one of them will come over here between the phoenix and the tower. And I can open up for a good kill. Let's see. Do, do, do. Shit. Okay. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Because I just went and got their health back. And now she's coming for me. Or maybe not. Okay. They're just going to ignore me. That's fine. I'm going to kill the damage buff guy. Now, I do like Loki, though, because he is really good for... Uh, Getting the uh, getting the mobs, getting the the jungle creeps because he does have his his decoy he could kind of throw out, but it is still a little difficult early game. But uh, probably every episode I'll try a different champ. You know, I might do a couple of the same ones more than once because I do have some favorites so far. Uh, I really do like Neath a lot. Neath's my favorite champ so far, but it's one of those things that she was labeled as a easy champ you know in her description and I didn't want to be someone who was really good or an easy champ so I stopped playing her because you know my plan was to focus her and just go pro and play as Neath but then I was like you know what you know what is that gonna look like if I'm a pro at smite and it's because I played the easiest champ there is so I stopped playing her at least I mean I do play her for fun but not you know most time I'm trying to get good at some of these more difficult champs um but maybe some of you guys are watching that are real, you know, avid players of this game or know a lot. Uh, you guys could suggest champs for me to play, or gods rather. You guys could suggest some gods for me to play based on like what you notice I'm doing or my play styles or whatever. Like I said, this is going to be completely community based. Whatever you guys suggest is how I'm rolling. I better get out of that. Shit. Oh crap. Oh god. Get the fuck. Oh no. She got me. I was trying to get out of there. Now, one thing I'm doing that kind of proves that I'm a noob. I am on auto buy and auto skill level right now. But a lot of the items in my auto buy are things that are like... I mean, pretty much I went to the custom... I, I, okay, most items in the auto buy are things that I set. So, it's not like I'm just, you know, I'm following the... You know, I set a lot of those items myself. So, I mostly use auto buy to save time. You know, when a lot of people are sitting there in the store, you know, wasting people's time while they're trying to pick out what they want. 
you know, I just kind of go through and buy. But that also is kind of dumb because, you know, sometimes you need to change your build for situations. So I do understand that. But I don't know. I'm not taking it too seriously right now. I'm not going to try to go get that. Because uh, as Loki, I do more damage from behind. So pretty much I never want to go head on if I don't have to. Um, so I'm not going to go like fight lane. I'm going to try to ambush like... If they push past mid, um, then I'll ambush from the side. So, I know for those of you guys who don't play this game or are complete noobs, probably think, wow, he really knows what he's talking about. But, I really don't. <laughs> this is just stuff I've learned over the last like couple of days of me playing this. So, I really want to go in for this. For the alt kill. I'm going in for the turret. If I can take the turret out, I can get him. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, shit. And you're gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to town. Or back to uh, spawn or whatever. I didn't get the killing blow for that, but I really don't care. It's about the win, not the kills. Okay. Full health. I got my life steal item. I don't know. When I looked online... They didn't recommend getting life steal for this guy, but I, I don't know. I, I like life steal because he does attack really fast, and it helps me kind of jungle a little bit better. I know in threes you don't juggle a whole lot, but I kind of do. Like I I've started incorporating jungling more, just because it is really good XP for like the first ten levels, and it gives me some s sustained XP while I'm waiting to uh, gank. So I did get life steal. Plus it is nice when I'm like in a big fight and I'm trying to tank him out. Like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of there. He's coming for me. But right now, like, Loki's really weak. Uh, from what I've learned over the last few games, he's really weak early game. But, usually once I get to about 12 or up, I start like one-shotting people with his like, really awesome just kind of jumping and... His alt, like, you teleport behind him and you just do massive amounts of damage. So once I get, like, 12 or whatever, I'm just, like, two-shotting people or bursting him down, like, really easily. I'm trying to avoid his alt, which looks like I successfully did. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, God. Get the hell out. And... This was probably a dumb idea, but I went for it. Yeah. I don't know why I just used that. Okay, I'm alive. I don't know how. I don't know if they just weren't targeting me. Uh, I can't remember. I think, I think my actual level in the game, so not my hero level, but... Um, or not my god's level, but my actual account level is level 9. Uh, I've been playing this game for about a week. So I'm not play, you know, facing complete noobs, but I'm definitely not against any pros. But my win-lose ratio is really high because I've been doing a, a lot of land stuff with my friends. I've had my friends over all week, and we've just been 3v3ing like, like mad. Um, so usually when you have... Usually when you're doing a land, even if you guys aren't good at the game, you're going to win because you have that communication advantage. So we won like all but two games out of like the 30 we did. So I don't know if your win-lose ratio like really like really affects um, like who you play against. But if it does, I should be playing against hard people. Okay, I'm going to try to take out this Hades. It's really dumb to try to take him out this close to a spawn, but I went for it and I got it. And you're dead too. Okay. And, I'm, and I just let the uh, boss own me. But it looks like they're going to finish finish him off. Yes, it does. Looks like we won. So I didn't do all that bad that game. I went 5-3 and three and 6 assists. So that wasn't bad. But I'm really looking forward to you guys' advice in the comments. Um, any tips, any advice, anything you guys could give me. I would love to improve my gameplay. And hopefully we could... Uh, do this again next time. I will see you guys there.